and that wolf was rescued from a North Houston feed store this summer. Houston SPCA cruelty investigators found him living in deplorable conditions. His metal cage was rusted and filled with debris. The wolf was significantly underweight and had been surviving on junk food. Now, by law, wolves and wolf hybrids are not allowed to be kept as pets in Harris County. SPCA investigators worked with Harris County Precinct 1 Constable's Office on the case, and they were able to rescue the wolf and bring him in for medical care. Now, because the wolf had lived in captivity all of his life, he wasn't afraid of humans and could not be released back into the wild. So instead, he went to Wolf Haven International, a sanctuary that provides refuge for displaced captive-born wolves in Washington State. Cute little guy, Houston, as they call him, can now roam freely on 82 acres of wood and grassland. And the wolf will soon be introduced to a six-month female wolf dog pup that was also recently rescued. Now, to learn more about the Houston SPCA's life-saving work, or to adopt, donate, or volunteer, you can visit HoustonSPCA.org. And mark your calendars. I Walk for Animals is coming up in about six weeks. The event benefits Houston SPCA. You can sign up now for the walk on Saturday, December 3rd at Memorial Park. Visit iWalkForAnimals.org for more information. You can also join our Houston Life KPRC team by going to iWalkForAnimals.org and searching Houston Life KPRC. I think I got a little frog in my throat there. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Is it a froggy?